Rabi Lakazi Street, famous for being the only road in the world to have been home to two Nobel Prize winners. But now, there's a new attraction. At Lindiwe Imgunazulu's house, visitors can get a good look at non-venomous snakes. And for a small fee, even drape the reptiles round their necks and pose for a photo. Ngomezulu and her 21-year-old daughter started raising snakes six years ago. The two have become so successful that they travel to schools educating children. For us to bring these shows to schools, it's an educational show, it's not just a show. Because you know, most people are scared of snakes, especially snakes. Now, it's a good thing that we start teaching children about reptiles, about snakes, when they are still young so that they grew up understanding that these are not their, anim their, their uh, dangerous animals, not all of them. Yes, there are snakes with venom, uh, but not all of them. Not to be afraid of snakes, actually, because snakes don't do anything. Um, snakes actually act on self-defense most of the time, and not, that not all snakes are poisonous, that not all snakes are vicious and, and, and all these... Um, myths that we, we as the black community grew up with. I, I'm trying to take it out and teach the kids that it's not, not all those myths are right, are correct. This non-venomous albino Burmese python is one of the most popular attractions. Getting up close and personal with this snake is meant to feel and realize that they're not as scary as they look. But I'm not convinced just yet. However, the children are far more eager to handle these slithery creatures. I'm not, I'm not scared. I love it. It's beautiful. Yes, I love snakes. I want to be a vet when I grow up, so I'm normal. I love snakes and this feels quite comfortable. I just feel so interested because some snakes are not poisonous and others are, and you never know which one's which. The mother and daughter team is on a mission to change public perceptions about snakes and they've got ambitious plans to take their reptiles beyond Soweto. Julie Shar, CCTV, Soweto, South Africa.